Right, my front forks are suffering from a little bit of stiction. Uh, they're not quite as smooth as they used to be at low speed. So what I'm going to do is lower the dust seal. This is a Gen 3 Tiger 1200. Lower the dust seal and see if I can uh, get a slight uh, brush of uh, grease in there to loosen that up a little bit. So let's see how we get on. Uh, it's a lot easier if you take off the uh, fork guard. I've already done the right hand side. So we just need to remove the fork guard. And I'll forward wind this bit, obviously, so you don't sit through me undoing four bolts. Uh, the Allen Kim, the toolkit, will fit these. You don't need any special tools. Uh, a nice thin bladed screwdriver would do, such as an electrical one, to start getting the dust seal off. I did try it with a plastic credit card, but I couldn't get enough purchase and I couldn't get it underneath. Now on this uh, Gen 3 Tiger 1200, it has white pair of forks. There we are, that's all off. Now it's good practice to take these off anyway and clear some of this crud here because this is all road crud. So I'll give it a, a wipe with WD-40. Now don't spray WD-40 on it because you just get it all over the disc and the brake pads. So I'll spray a bit of WD-40 on the cloth and I'll clean it up while I'm here. You can see the dust seal here. There's a little spring around it as well uh, but you'll find you don't need to remove that spring if you do or it does come off it's very easy to get back on so don't worry about it just gonna run that screwdriver around there so I can get a few last remnants of that dust that's our dirt that's settled there cool might as well clean the bottom of the fork while I'm here Cool. Right. Just start this off. Yep, that's just got it going. It's quite stiff. So your way around take your time if you want to scratch cut anything that's coming away nicely let's get a bit more around the side excuse my head but I had to be in the way now once you've got a bit of movement on it you can get a thicker bladed screwdriver so there's less chance of tearing anything that's coming away easy now there we are, that's away. Cool. Still filming, still filming. Now, a little bit of grease. Before we do that, I'll just try and clean up in there just in case there's any crud that has got up there. Pretty hard to see if it had don't need much grease all we're going to do is push a bit past the seal hopefully just put a bit of grease all the way around cool clean my finger off then I'm gonna take the bike off the center stand and just pump the forks a bit So of course in my boat I'll have to turn the bloody alarm off and I'll, it'll give me 45 seconds to do that. So here we go. Now I'll have to drop it off the main stand. It's 
get rid of my ultimate, why don't we? Oh. Right, I'm just going to get on the bike. I'll just move that a little bit. Give it a few pumps. As much as I can. You don't need the ignition on or anything. Because I found when you try it with the ignition on, it sets off the... And you're holding that front brake. It sets off the... Uh, Oh, hill hold. And there's my lovely alarm. Right, that's great. There's virtually nothing left there. So, just wipe off any excess grease. Give that dust cover a bit of a clean. As long as it's not on the inside, it's not too bad. And you can just push that up by hand, virtually. Just make sure it's all the way up, all the way around. Yep, you can see it's not really quite up there at the back. So I'm just giving it a helping hand. That's it. So if you can run your finger on the inside and feel if there's a gap. You can still feel a gap at the back there. Cool, that's in. So all I have to do now is put that back on. Do you know what? I'll give it a clean while it's off. So back in five. Right, we're laughing. That's that all cleaned. And you know, it's only uh, four quick bolts to take that off. It's good practice during the winter, if you do a lot of winter riding, to just whip that off and just clean all the crud out from here. Because um, every time your fork goes down, it's picking that crud back up. So, oh, do you know what, uh, yeah. So let's get this top back on. And top and bottom bolts are slightly different, so uh, but you won't mix them up. He says, struggling to get the first one in. Come on. Oh my god, come on. The bottom bolts are shoulders, so they're quite different. Hooray, we got the first one in. I nip them up once they're all in. So, it's something you can do very easily. You don't need to go to the dealers for that. Because you probably want to do this. Well, if you're an all round ride, all year round ride, rider, um, you probably want to do this quite often. Or at least take the guard off and clean under here quite often. and give your fork seals a fighting chance. Of course, if, if you're an off-roader, not that I'd ever off road in this bike, but if you're an off-roader, you're doing this sort of thing probably every bloody other day. But look, what was that, 10 minutes? 10 minutes aside, nice clean. And I've got rid of the stiction on my forks. Job done.